Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Daily Current Affairs on the paper Hindu. So, yeah, let's go to today's current affairs, important current affairs, okay? So, one other current affair which we have seen yesterday and today, the current affairs which, we, which has been repeated. First thing is your earthquake that has occurred, okay? Earthquake occurred in Turkey and Syria, we have seen yesterday. So, for that the fatalities or the death rate has increased to 6000, not death rate, number of deaths has increased to 6000, that is the update on this particular issue, okay. This particular article says about that only, next, yeah this is the local news, so skipping the local news, local news again. Yeah, before going to this actually, I wanted to uh, discuss about this leave engagements. Kritika, you have asked me yesterday, so about that article which I wanted to discuss, okay. So first let me discuss about this leave engagements, I think it is a bit blurred. Yeah, so about this leave engagements, basically what are leave engagements? post retirement that means after retirement and there will be certain kinds of claims that can be your leaves or any other extra benefits fine any other extra benefits or anything that are as part of your current service so, your entire year service based on that there will be certain kinds of benefits other than the pensions. So, example your leave encashment. So, what is your leave encashment in the sense basically these people who are uh, getting uh, who are the government employees they will have a 10 month 10 months leaves left over like that means 10 months or around 300 days let us say. So, in some, in few of the cases it will be 10 months and few of the cases it will be for 300 days, they will have their leaves kept aside. So, that every leave, if you are not utilizing that particular leave, those can be claimed during your retirement, okay. So, what happens but this particular thing is that if 300 days are being saved, so every day on an average let us say if a person is earning a uh, very basic I am telling about, so let us say if the person's income is 1000 per day on an average. So, for 300 days he will be getting 300 into 1000, okay. So, around 3 lakh rupees will be their net leave encashments only. So, if they are not claiming these leaves and they have worked these particular leaves, then what happens? They will be getting 3 lakhs during pension amount. So, basically what government employees or these people who after retired the, what they will do is that they will sell these leaves that means they will get amount uh, into cash. So, whatever are the benefits are there through these leave encashments and all 50 percent of the amount they will be claiming. So, whenever they claim this amount there will be taxation on this and that too the taxation will be 25 to 30 percent taxation. Okay. So, I think you are able to follow Kritika and other people ma'am telegram channel is unavailable. I do not have idea about that Vivek Kumar, I can check with the team later and I will inform you, okay. I will check with the team on that, fine. So, 3 lakh rupees if let us say if the hypothetically 3 lakh is the amount that they have earned through leave and cashments, then this particular amount is also taxable. So, in the previous budget that means till 22, 23, till 22, 23 whatever the leave encashments that they are not only leave encashments in sense not only leave encashments but all the encashment claims all those claims together they uh, they tell it as encashments okay they take it as encashments so even yesterday's news uh, mr revenue secretary even despite telling that leave encashments can be claimed uh, with the taxation free but that entirely meant is your entire encashments that is there, okay. So, what happens here? This 3 lakh amount, if it is 3 lakhs as a base, then that will not be taxable. But whenever it is more than 3 lakh, then around 25 to 30 percent will be your taxation. Coming to recent budget, current financial year budget, 
what happened now this limit of <coughs> excuse me this limit of 3 lakhs has been increased to 25 lakhs so whatever the encashments that you are going to claim post retirement till the amount of 25 lakhs it is taxation free so regarding the previous article what it says is that because of being taxation free even before that particular year suppose if this financial year if they are going to be retiring then they can opt for the new taxation regime in order to be taxation free that is what our revenue secretary has told kritika is it clear for you now or not is it clear are you able to understand shall i proceed Kritika, please respond. Yes. So, this is what that particular article is about. Fine. And what are leave and cash ones I have told. So, this is all local news. So I do not want to cover all this. Let me. Yes. So, what this particular article says virginity test on women accused is sexist, unconstitutional. Delhi HC. So, what happened is that clear, great. So, what happened is that in Abaya case, go refer once what is Abaya case. In Abaya case, there were women sisters who were accused for this sexual act. So, now what uh, the defenders or people who are in the court judges have defended such that they will be conducting a virginity test on those sisters to claim whether they are pure or impure. Now, what Supreme Court or what sorry Delhi High Court has given is that the right to you have some rights to be suspended when they are being arrested when accused is uh, like he is be, he or she is being taken into custody then certain rights might be compromised but right to dignity right to life will not be compromised. So, that is about this particular article. So, if you can see here just a moment yeah see this particular thing which is important right to personal liberty of an accused gets suspended so right to personal liberty because they are being placed into one particular cell right if you wanted to investigate or interrogate on what happened that particular during that particular incident so for that their right to personal liberty might be suspended but their right to dignity is not suspended as part of your article 21 right to life that is that is what Delhi High Court has told. So, you cannot conduct any kind of virginity test which can cause them any mental health, I mean mental issues or any physical pain. So, that is what this article says. So, what does this mean? Even if a person is being arrested, then the right to liberty, personal liberty might be compromised, might be suspended, but right to dignity will not be removed or will not be suspended. It should be ensured, okay, that you need to understand. See, right to, right to dignity is not suspended or waived even an accused under trial or a convict. Even if the particular person is convicted too, you cannot accuse or you cannot compromise on their right to dignity. That particular point is important as part of this particular article. Okay. Next. So, there is going to be an unofficial meeting or a secret meeting for defense ministers conclave, conclave in the sense an official or a secret meeting okay so uh, there, there is going to be a meeting between these defense ministers conclave to be held on aero india 2023 on feb 14th suppose that if there are any other news regarding it we will go through okay so defense minister rajnath singh will host a defense ministers conclave on feb 14th on the sidelines of aero india 2023 defense minister of a friendly countries who will attend a show will take part so who are going to attend they haven't mentioned friendly countries who are with us in ties for defense they will be taking part into this particular conclave that is why it is mentioned as conclave because it is a secret association okay the conclave will address aspects related to deepening cooperation capacity building investments so capacity building in a sense like getting investments or research and development joint venture good co-development or co-production provisioning for defense equipment so basically capacity building in a sense having all the infrastructure necessary for your defense that can be your research and development too next to training space ai 
So we have seen recently when we are discussing about SNT, I have told about AI in defense. So AI, especially in drone technology, they have associated with. And whenever they are going with any warships or anything, for that also they have associated technology into current defense defense ministry okay so maritime security to grow together with a broad theme of shared prosperity through enhanced engagements in defense important speed so they've given a title for this enclave called and the theme of this particular uh, conclave meeting called shared prosperity shared prosperity through enhanced engagements in defense which is speed between all the defense ministries whatever the def Perfect explanation, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rahul. Fine. So, what happened here? Basically, through this particular speed program, what conclaves are doing? They are coming together and then they are having discussion about what can be further done as part of defense technologies. So, unofficial meeting, we do not get much updates on this. So, that is it about this particular article. And one thing that we are going to promote from India is make in India and make use and make for the world. So, can be directly used when you are explaining in SNT, make in India with a vision of make in India as well as make for the world is our current motto with a theme called speed, right? Next, we will go into another article. Fine. So, editorials will be started soon. So, no need to worry about editorials. Another thing. So, Russia and India continue to discussion to evolve a payment mechanism. So, due to this particular war scenario between Russia and Ukraine, the thing what happened was there were lot of uh, what we can say any kind of aids. Suppose, let me tell you in a clear way. Fine. So, Whenever a country is waging war, then a country is against the particular war will issue certain kinds of sanctions. Okay. So, here also Russia is facing lot of sanctions especially on their exports and imports. So, basically different countries have backed off from getting uh, in the fields like oil or gas, oil and gas exports. So, they have huge market, Russia has huge market regarding oil and gas and exports. So, currently that was hit because of huge sanctions from western countries. So, now what happened? The age old friendship with India that Russia has, they are trying to tighten, tighten it. So, they are trying to enhance it. So, as part of that what they have come up with? They have come up with different kind of payment system that can ensure. So, India's is rub, uh, rupees and for Russia it is ruble. What they are trying to do? They are trying to build up a particular UI or a particular application, UI in a sense user interface, your website or anything. So, they are trying to build up a particular technological wise backup so that we can have transactions with Russia from Russia and I mean Russia's ruble and India's rupee. So, that is what this particular meeting is about and this will go what are the important things that has been mentioned with bilateral payments still not streamlined against the backup of western sanctions especially defense deals India and Russia are said to have bilateral financial meetings under the framework of intergovernment commission in the second half of February. So, in the second half of February we are going to have an intergovernmental commission which will be held on the second week and then we will be getting our updates ok. So, next banks are too cautious why because they have huge sanctions, Russia have huge sanctions which can further lead to economic crisis in Russia. Of course, that is the worst case, but can that, that can also be a possibility. So, Indian banks are under dilemma that whether we can go into this particular, we can opt for this particular option or not. So, if there is instability in their ruble, in their currency, then how can banks ready be ready to opt or to act in, in this particular payment system? So, that is indirectly dumping of their particular currency into India. So, are you able to understand? Indirectly that is the case. So, speaking at a seminar on Russia, Russian envoy. So, speaking the seminar, seminar in, in India by Russian envoy who is Denis Alipov said that the Vastro accounts have been opened, mechanism of rupee-ruble trade has been established and it is now matter for the banks to use it. 
so there has been establishment of certain kinds of provision that there can be easy conversions from rupee to ruble now it is under the stake of banks to trust russia and to opt for the payment mechanism ua so that is what this particular article says nothing more than that so you can just go through okay next lwe as part of your internal security gs3 important article so definitely on internal security you will have four or four to four questions in your gs3 so in that one question can be expected from your left wing extremism so this particular article gives you certain kinds of data on left wing extremism what does this data says about left wing extremism related to violence down by 76% in 2002 when compared to the case of 2010 so when compared to cases of 2010 to 2022 currently 76% of the violence caused by lwe which is your left wing extremism has been reduced so you can directly use it who told this you need to know union home ministry amit shah on tuesday said that the violence related to left wing extremism came down by 76% in 2002 compared to 2000 10 okay so which is owing for the three pronged strategy a resolute approach to curb extremist violence a better coordination with affected states and development through public participation so he has also mentioned about what are the cases that has influenced to reduce this violence of left wing extremism so he has he has showcased three examples or the three strategical uh, ways that government has followed to reduce this left wing extremism so first thing is to curb resolute approach to curb extremism violence so if there is any extremism you have police so that also we have here police system who are currently focusing on this particular evading evading this particular left wing extremism okay so let me tell you if it is mentioned here just a moment fine so that is one case and the other thing is better coordination with affected states so whatever the states that are being affected especially andhra and orissa in these particular places whatever the areas that is being affected by the left wing extremism all these areas governments wise support and people's public participation has helped for reducing this particular left wing extremism so that you need to understand and yeah so who are involved into this border security force air wing has been strengthened with the induction of new pilots and engineers and the home ministry has taken on initiatives to choke the funding of banned outfits so they are the one who are responsible for this for maintaining order in internal security of left wing extremism okay fine so home minister said that the number of civilian and security personnel killed in lwe lwe incidents so this is also again data in 2002 98 or the incidents of left wing uh, left wing extremism security personnel were killed so total security personnel killed because of this left wing extremism or 98 as of 2022 whereas in 2010 it was around 1000 cases in only one particular year so in one particular year these many security guard security personnel uh, personals were killed okay not they were killed it's them who killed these left wing extremists okay sorry please correct that next another important article for today so what is this article about oil still needed while world transitions to clean energies systems so who is this person so there was meeting of conference of parties as part of your environment you would have learned so currently conference of parties 28 is going on definitely there can be one question on this conference of parties 28 in your prelims and an expected question for your mains too okay so cop 28 president design, uh, designate sultan alzaber so he is from uae okay united arab emirates what he says is that yes the world is currently now is taking steps towards clean energy that means everyone are shifting towards having clean energy or renewable energy sources so now what he says is that yes that is a good step that you are taking in a way that currently our environment should not be polluted 
but what he says is that it should be in a gradual and sustainable manner you cannot continuously stop you can like immediately you cannot stop the oil reserves or anything and then you cannot immediately shift because you are currently lacking infrastructure so what he says is that still there is a requirement of oil production or oil exports he is from uae and their main main exports is from oil so that is what he meant so that is another ideology that so in this particular meeting what he has told this is zebar speaking on the ongoing india's energy week so currently we have that week of india energy week in bengaluru on tuesday he pushed for more investments in minimizing carbon footprint of hydrocarbons so he has initiated for minimizing this particular carbon of hydrocarbons but he also meant that currently hydrogen is also costlier so shifting immediately might cause to other economical burden on low families so that is what he has told uh, let me show it yes so if you can see here yeah so the world still needs hydrocarbons and will need them to bridge from the current energy system to the new one we cannot unplug the current we cannot unplug the current energy system before we build the new one so before we are fully developed into having clean energy we cannot break the current existing one so which he is actually affecting their own what their own exports so that is what he meant so you cannot immediately change into the existing or the new ones you have to still continue as a backup that is what he meant that's all nothing is there in this article but go through the outcomes of cop28 cop28 outcomes and india's energy week outcomes important okay fine next article so this article again has been in news since a week so what is this article china's balloon has entered into us territory so us claims that it is a security threat for our sovereignty of course yes and china says that no that is a civilian balloon which has been ex escaped from our or which has been misguided into your own territory not by willing and it is not a harm for your sovereignty that is what china has told but what happened yesterday us has fired it so us has fired it that was a news yesterday and what they did after firing it they collected the debris to check what is it actually about now china is protesting that that is a civilian one you cannot go by that harsh means you should have at least consider we are already telling that it is not a um uh, unsafe or any kind of warship or any kind of uh, air material which we are using it for defense it is completely a civilian or no harm but as soon as it is entering some on other some other country's territory it is their own whims and fantasies to proceed on how to protect their country so you have taken it as a security threat and shot it down and they have collected it and that particular balloons will be sent for testing so that is what this article says rest all nothing is there so the remnants of the balloon has been collected and then they will be sent for checking so the balloons every day for, as a norad commander it's my responsibility to detect the threats to north america so he said that yes it can be any kind of threats for north america so we have sent it for analyzing so that's what he said but china is protesting on that next another important article so what does the article says sitaraman so who is nirmala sitaraman our financial minister so currently budget has been released so this entire month you will have some other other way criticism or support or any kind of issues related to budget so what happened here sitaraman has told that signals reading signals readiness to review 28% gst on cement so currently cement gst has been raised to 28% which is again a huge amount that a person who are manufacturers of cement cannot afford to so they have asked for reassuring or revisiting their policy of 28% gst on cement so she said that yes if that is any issue we are in ready position to back or to have any other updates on this taxation on cement so that's what this article says let's see uh, important is there a buffer budget yes i'll tell you yeah so what she said is that there was like there is huge taxation so we need certain kinds of deductions or anything in this particular 
taxation. So what she said, we did so in the case of fertilizer prices in 2021 which rose out of nowhere but we didn't let down the farmers. So she said that in the same way when we felt that fertilizers were at the huge cost then we did not let farmers down. We were we were under the rescue to them and we have reduced this fertilizer's cost. The same way will be for cement also. So if we feel that there is any kind of issues faced because of this particular uh, high taxation on cement then we will revisit our policies on GST for cement. That is what this article says. Okay. So yeah that is all. Next. I thought that this article was important but no, so I am just skipping out. That is private companies article, so no need to discuss about that. Yeah. Let us see. Yeah. This is another article which supports that there should be existence of the oil or any kind of carbon emitting, uh, carbon emitting energy resources currently till we convert into clean energy. So he is the person again supporting for oil industry. So what he said, green energy switch must be affordable. So India is the world's third largest oil consumer. So our energy, for our energy requirements, we are the third largest consumer as of now in whole world. On Tuesday said it is committed to energy transition but surviving the present and cushioning the vulnerable from price vol vol volatilities is essential from moving to clean and green energy. So what he says is that we need to make sure definitely that, just a moment, yeah. So what he said was that we have to make sure definitely that the current or the middle class or the lower middle class or the people of poverty should not be affecting because of ultimate change into renewable resources. So it should be the, vul the vulnerabilities or any kind of price volat volatility should be checked before completely converting into green energy or green economy. So that is what this article says about India has committed to net zero emissions by 2070 repeatedly emphasized that dirty fuels, fuels, why is it called dirty? Because of its pollution. So dirty fuels like oil and oil and coal on which the economy is two third dependent. So our economy is currently dependent two third on this oil requirement which is termed as dirty oils will have to be used for the reseable future. So an immediate shift from the low priced coal and expensive fuels such as hydrogen will entail huge cost in the nation with low per capita income. So for the people who are of low per capita income the issue is that completely shifting towards the clean energy and usage of hydrogen is also costlier one and infrastructure to build it is also another costliest one. So currently it, it can affect, affect the existing nation with low per capita income. So he said that we should have a backup of current oil facilities or oil industries. So that is what he meant. Okay. So another thing which he has mentioned is that so who is he? Hardeep Singh Puri he is your oil ministry, minister. Okay. So you also said that in India Energy Week that the transition has to be affordable and sustainable for vulnerable sections. So for the vulnerable sections it has to be affordable and sustainable. So you need to keep them in mind that is what he said. Next. So we have seen two articles supporting hydrocarbon emission. So it is not always about the environment supporting one we need to convert into renewables. You need to know what are the issues phased or what can be the possibilities of issues when you are completely switching into green, green energy or green economy or green infrastructure. Next. So the saga of a spy balloon in airspace, again they have given entirely about what has happened which we have already discussed. So let me go to your gist and nothing much is required. They have uh, explained way, like hugely about what are the specifications of the fighter jet that has been used for shooting down this particular balloon. All those are not required. So I will just go with the gist and then we will go with the other article on minorities. Budget allocation for minorities that is another important article. So I will yes, yes Rahul Kumar correct. Thank you for adding on next. So what is the gist about this particular article? So we already know China has claimed that it is a civilian aircraft or air balloon and not a threat to your country. 
So last week, US shot down a Chinese spy balloon days after the surveillance device was spotted over American airspace. So we call it as a surveillance device. They have told that it is a civilian surveillance device, a civilian purpose. We are just testing it. Okay? Who? China has claimed that. So spy balloons are high altitude surveillance tools. So what are called spy, uh, spy balloons? That definition is again important. What is spy balloons? They are high altitude surveillance tools that usually operate at a height of 80,000 to 120,000 feet. So from 80,000 to 120,000 feet, these balloons will be flew well above the cruising altitude of commercial aircraft to gather intelligence and carry out military militia missions. So basically, spy balloons motto is for gathering information and for military missions it will be used and basically it will flew above the commercial planes. So it will fly above the commercial aircraft altitude. So that is the thing. Next. What is the other point here? Taiwan has accused has accused People's Liberation Army of using spy balloons in the past. A similar sighting was reported over Andaman and Nicobar Islands in January last year. So, if it is really a, not a spy balloon but a testing balloon, then why it is appearing in different countries? Andaman Nicobar in our country. So, that has been witnessed in January 2. That you need to understand. Okay. So, that is the one which has been accused about. That is why they have shot it down. Yeah. So what happened because of that tensions has been started between China and US. So US thought like let us go have a foreign policy, positive foreign policy with China but because of this balloon that has been again created tensions between both countries. So what was the union budget allocated to minorities? Why this particular article is in use? In budget, current for in the current fiscal year what happened was that the budget allocation for these minorities, Ministry of Minority Affairs for these minorities, there was a huge reduction of 38% in budget allocation, 38%. 38% of the funds were reduced for minorities. So, who are minorities? Can be Muslims, see, can be Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Jains, Buddhists, Parsis were among little more than 50% down from 41 crore last year to 21 crore, so 20 crore this year. So, the allowances for research schemes. So, basically, because of the cut down, huge cut down, and this particular minorities were the worst affected because of cut downs. That means there are many cutting downs of allocated budget this year in that this was the worst case where 38 percent of the budget has been reduced so because of that there was a direct impact on research schemes so there were people who will go for further higher studies or any kind of issues for research they will be given certain kinds of scholarship or any benefits so that particular thing there was seen around more than 50 percent cut down it was 41 crore allocated last year for research purposes whereas this year it is seen about 20 20 crore only so it was 41 crore back then and now it is 20 crores. So I think that's clear. So there are seen a reduction. Next, this is important. What is, why was Nai Udan grounded? So the Nai Udan scheme meant to help minority students to prepare for the Union Public Service Commission examinations was grounded. That means it is completely removed. So what happened? It was argued that the scheme overlaps with other similar affirmative plans to the government for preparation of this Union Public Service Commissions. They will be having for these minorities, they cannot afford for institutions to pay. So what happened? These people will be giving free of cost. Out of free of cost, they will be conducting one kind of merit test and these people will be intaked for their further preparation into civil services. So now that particular scheme was grounded and it was argued that for that they have given an argument that a debate that it is overlapping some other affirmative actions given by government. So the ration to cut down for the for cut down of funds, socio-economic and educational upliftment for minorities has cast a shadow far and wide. For instance, the scheme for leadership development of minority women which received 2.5 crore last year is seen down to 
टेन लैक पर टेन लैक एज पर द न्यू बजेट सी अ स्कीम फॉर यस राहुल सो वॉट हैपन फॉर दिस नई वुड ऑन स्कीम करंटली फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ वुमेन दिज बीन अलोकेटेड टू पॉइंट फाइव क्रोर एंड करेंटली इट इज 10 10 lakhs only see what is the difference because of the huge cut down it has impacted again on gender equality wise budget in minorities so that is again an impact for impact on women in minorities okay so yeah rest all they have given other schemes too like for the skill enhancement programs for everything there has seen a cut so we'll see what is the other gist of this particular article so union budget for 23 24 came with a reduction of 38% as i told you with a reduction of 38% compared to previous financial year the worst affected scheme of all under say under the all encompassing fund crunch was the education scheme for madrasas which suffered an opening of 93% cut in allocation down to 10 crore from the 160 crore so for their education purpose there was 160 crore that has been allocated but currently it has seen 93% cut to 10 crore for compared to previous year okay another scheme which suffered the most was skill development initiative among minorities which received 235 crore back and now 10 lakhs see from 235 crore to 10 lakhs for the skill development program so here you need to understand that whatever the budget that has been allocated for development of women in minorities for development of education and for skill development has seen huge cut now where is the development now how can the development be achieved for minorities so this can be written in your social justice you can add it in your social justice answers and also if there is any question on gender equality when it comes to your essay to this can be mentioned directly next so again this is an article related to your snt gs3 so in snt regarding health so what does this article say car t cell sorry car t cell therapy the next step towards a holistic treatment of cancer so we know that cancer don't have a permanent ailment so people are at the end there is no assurance that it will be completely cured and many of the cases of deaths are being reported in increasing way in this years so for that they have come up with a new technique on which they can possibly cure this cancer so we need to know what is the technique we'll just see just nothing more required so a cancer is a disease which constantly yeah constancy evolves to evade treatment we need we need to keep developing more sophisticated therapies with as few side effects as possible the new development of this front holding the attention of many researchers worldwide is car t cell therapy so what is this t cell what is this car t cell therapy we will see okay so basically what is cancer cancer is nothing but some cells will forget its memory it will lose its memory it will form a lump and that lump will be increased okay so lump of tissues forming in odd areas than the respective area will give you cancer so for that basically there are three major treatments currently so what are those treatments first are surgery removing the cancer so based on the stages it will be increasing right so first is through surgery it can be removed next through radiotherapy where radiation chemotherapy or anything will be there so that radiotherapy delivering ionizing radiation to the tumor so through that radiation targeted ways they will eliminate or they'll remove that particular terminated or tumor cells now systematic therapy administering medicine that act on tumor so three ways one is your surgery permanently cutting and removing next second thing is ionizing through radiation so through chemotherapies and all so three do through these particular therapies the, that particular tumor will be removed and the number three is your systematic therapy where medicines will be given constantly for reduction of that particular tumor uh, for melting of the tumor basically so surgery and radiotherapy have been refined significantly over time because medicines will not be majorly working so mostly they'll focus on surgery or through this radiotherapy whereas advances in systematic therapy have been unparalleled a new development on this front currently holding the attention of many researchers to car t cell therapy so what is this car t cell what is this t cells so we'll see now 
so CAR T cells chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapies represent a quantum leap in the sophistication of cancer treatment unlike chemotherapy or immunotherapy which require mass product produced injectable or oral medication CAR T cell therapies use a patient's own cells so what is the difference basically what happens here they have to take huge intake of medications that can be through radiation or through any kind of injectable or oral ways they will be giving certain kinds of medication and that will again affect your immunity and those people will be dying sooner most of the cases most of the cases so what this CAR T cell therapy does is that it will build on your own cells the patient cells will be taken and they will basically stimulate in the laboratory and for that particular cells development what uh, laboratory people will do is that they will give certain kinds of injections or certain kinds of immunity wise developments to fight against the existing tumor so basically these T cells are the WBC cells which are actually the immunity of your blood so if you can see here immunity in our system in our body it is the immunity cells immune cells so I have to tell where is that just a moment so CAR T cells they are modified they are modified in the laboratory to activate T cells a component of immune cells to attack tumors so what this particular therapy does is that this uh, kind of stimulation does is that it will use the T cells of a part of a particular person if a person is affected by cancer that particular person cells will be taken so that cells will be put in laboratory and what happens it will be using to activate T cells component of immune cells and these modified cells are then infused back in the patient's bloodstream after conditioning with multiply more effectively so the cells are given more specific than targeted agents and directly activate the patient's immune system against cancer making the treatment more clinically effective this is why they are called living drugs so your cell is a living living thing right so the cells that is what we are comprising of that is a unit unit body of our system of human so what happened this particular cells are being stimulated or being uh, developed or activated in the laboratory and then they are re-injected into your bloodstream so after when they are simulated in laboratory what happens is they will inject certain kinds of medication so that as soon as it enter into your body it will target this tumor and it will affect uh, it will work in such a way that it will reduce the existing tumor it will fight against the tumor basically so which will be so your own immune system is fighting against it so obviously there will be more possibilities of that cancer to be reduced so that is why researchers are seeing into this particular way of methodology what happened because share this channel any issue fine if there is any issue please let me know in the video okay in the video if there is any issue please let me know just a moment yeah okay so how does this work in CAR T cell therapy the patient's blood is drawn to harvest T cells which are immune cells that play a major role in destroying tumor cells so your cells are being um, cells in the sense basically from blood and it is being removed and these T cells are being cultivated they are harvested so they are trying to build the T cells which is again your WBCs and it is being built the researchers modify these cells in the laboratory so they modify and they express specific proteins on their surface so the medication is being inculcated into your T cells so your WBC itself is developed in such a way to targetedly fight against the tumor and known as chimeric antigen receptors they have been they have an affinity for proteins on the surface of tumor cells this modification see how it will recognize you have to have a question that yes they will be giving certain kinds of medication for attacking tumor how that how does this t cells will identify that this is a tumor what they will be giving whenever they are 
adding on this kind of modification into the cells, they will be adding an affinity for the proteins on the surface of tumor cells. So, whatever the tumor cells are there on that there will be certain kinds of proteins and your T cells will be developed in such a way that it will have affinity towards it. So, directly it will go there and attack only the targeted tumor. So, which T cells effectively bind the tumor and destroy it and rest all parts of your body will be ensured for safety. That means, there will be no damage for other parts of your body. So, final step for the tumors destruction involves clearance by patient's immune system. So, their own immune system will fight. No radiation, no chemotherapy, no medication, only your body will fight against the cancer. So, that is what regarding this particular article, very important step towards cancer. Okay. So, this is the last article which I would like to discuss. That is it for today. So far, if you have any doubts, please let me know. Any other doubts so far? Kritika. Kritika, Navi Sahiti, any doubts so far? Sindhu. Other students online, I cannot see your names. So, if you have any doubts, you can let me know. Sure. Great. So, after discussion of this, you can buy out e-paper of Hindu or you can take e, uh, your newspaper and directly go through the articles which we are discussing. Okay. So, that your current affairs part will be done. You can have your own short notes at least from the paper Hindu and apart from that we will be discussing some, co some compilations the time permits so that other current affairs will also be covered. Okay. Thank you. Good day. Great. Thank you. Thank you Navi Sahiti.